Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've come to Mablethorpe and as soon as I've got here, I've had a right result. Pulled into the car park and the guy in the car park doesn't take card. He's told me I can park for free. Um, so today we're gonna have a little walk around Mablethorpe. I've done a few other little seaside towns and this is one I don't really enjoy coming to because it's I don't like the windy roads leading into it. I'm on my own today, Catherine's at work. It's another one of my days off in the week, <coughs> which is why another reason I've come here. So let's get around and have a look. What's this about? The beach is closed. Beach is closed. That's rubbish. I think on the first shot as well. I thought everything would be open today. Yeah. It's very windy. I brought the new drone today. It might be a test for it. So yeah, we'll see. Let's have a wander along here then and see what this beach closed is a bit about. Welcome to Mablethorpe, Central Beach. Yeah, it's closed. Welcome and bugger off. That'll be why then. Got security on the job. Fish and chips. Might be indulging in that a little bit later. I like my fish and chips. Captain Jack's Crazy Golf. Welcome to the Caribbean then. Yeah, they're alive on the beach round here, look. Someone's made plenty of sandcastles, look. I remember sitting on these steps as a kid. They seemed massive back then. They don't seem quite as big now. Let's have a walk on the beach. I used to come with my nan and granddad and used to book. Don't know whether it was them exact ones because they look quite new, but. I used to book chalet out. Granddad used to have us here really early to make sure we got a chalet. It's quite chilly on here today, actually. The car says 20 degrees on the way here, and it is really nice. And I know it is warm, but it's a really cold breeze coming in off that off that sea. Look, you can see the uh, parasols how they're flying around and laid down. It's very windy, so I might head back into the shelter of the town. I'll give Mabel thought this. The beach is very flat. The, the, the sand's like still wet. Perfect sandcastle making sand. But the sea's quite far out, so yeah, it clearly uh don't dry out very quick. Which I'm surprised about, being it's windy today, you'd think that would dry that out. Anyway, let's head back up these steps. We're in May. I'm not sure why this isn't all running. I don't know about beach replenishment. It looks like they're putting a bloody pipeline in. 
some amusement from the car park there. But it's like the heating's been turned back on and the beach has got aircon on it or something. Ooh, coming to the shelter with that wind, like someone's turned the radiators on. Used to go through there to like a all well, the markets and that. Yeah. It's the amusements. I don't think the amusements ever closed, did they? What's Sea Garden? There you go. M and B discount wholesale warehouse. Markets that seem to go on forever inside. Here it is. Cafe and bar, bowling amusements, the Mirage. There you are. That's a bit more upmarket, isn't it? A bit more upmarket. All the shops here look really tired. Indian restaurant there, look. Yeah, Mega Market, Uncle Sam's. Yeah, Mega. Bits and bobs, big closing down sale. It'll not be that big, will it? Some rival fish and chip places here, look. Right next door to each other. Not gonna walk too much further up this bit of road here. I'm gonna go back on the main road. Got Cooplins, eh? Salt is behind me there, look. The Greggs. Do you know what fancy the fish and chips? It's not a massive place, Mabel Fort. It's the one I've got childhood memories of. Seacroft Mobility there a lot. I think this is Benidorm. Heron Foods there a lot. Boys in a co-op there. Yeah. So, you're all right with yourself catering. I wonder what the crime rate is for Mablethorpe, because they've got, for a little town, they've got that independent funeral service and the co-op one round the corner. You think they'd want two funeral home, funeral sirs? I've come back to the car to get me coat. Because I'm gonna head back on the beach with some chips, if I can find some chips. Chip shop that's open. Look like that. this one's been open for a while, isn't it? Same with this one, look. The one closed down in favour of the Indian. Some more chalets here, look. The lookout calf. This is the lifeboat, RNLI. Yeah, looks like they're laying a bloody pipeline up. Tell us what that's about. Anyway, let's go and have a look at these toilets. So that was 40 pence to have that wee. And no wonder why people will go like and wee round the back of there or something, make it stink. Yeah, lifeboats. Pulled by tractors. They go down that slip road, but I'm not entirely sure how they're going to get past that pipe. So what all this is, is the environment, environmental agency, and it's all um, preventing uh, erosion and flood control and stuff. Who knows what the plan is? Some nice bits of kit, though, isn't there? You are now leaving the Blue Flag Award area. Quality Coast Award. The beach is a dog free zone. I know they're doing it for good, really, but it just uh, makes me laugh. This is nice, isn't it? Little railway, miniature railway thing. I'm not entirely sure what, whether it's just a nice green or whether it's got a purpose. <coughs> All looks very nicely kept. You've got the beach chalets up here, look, backing onto it. And some crazy golf. I'm assuming this will be a little, uh, little paddle pool when the, the season gets underway and it's cleaned up maybe and filled up with water. Bowling green here, is it? Some more public toilets there. Boating lake. That don't look low in water, does it? It's where you go and take your boat and get on it, and out you go. 
Little venture lands closed. It's a shame, isn't it? There you go, Maplethorpe Boating Lake. Please do not feed the geese and ducks. There's the geese and ducks. Sorry, boys. Bang chaos. There you go, and book that out for a half day. Landing permitted, keep off the island. <clears throat> Unless your boat sinks, obviously. It's a lot of geese poo around here, look. And I'm not being funny. Their logs are bigger than my dogs. They're huge. Look at your wits about you, look. There's a big bugger. No wonder they do logs as high as my dogs. Not so sure what that would have been. But I've not seen all this here as well. Now oh, there's a big hotels or whether the flats or what they are. Let's do a bit of investigating. No idea what they are. I think they're just flats or something. There's no signs up or anything like that or big like any entrance to say what it is. Coral gift shop and cafe there look. Got some dunes here. Should we walk on the dunes? This is all soft sand up here. So I'm gonna kick myself for this because I hate getting sand in my shoes. But you gotta have a walk through the dunes haven't you? never know what you might find. Some more chalets along here, look. These are the older ones. Guys, if you've got any memories of your childhood or even recent years of Mablethorpe, leave a comment down below and tell us, tell us about them. If there's something you remember about Mablethorpe that maybe I've missed, let us know. It's like when we came as kids, we probably didn't come up this end. I don't know. I don't ever remember it. I'm going to have a walk around this corner and have a look what's around here. The sand's really soft in the dunes and I can't be bothered wading through soft sand, so I'm going to walk on here. Who left them there? So you can carry on along this path and it goes all the way, all the way past Trust, Trust up and uh, all the way to Inglemills, all being well, weather permitting. Catherine will be back on the on the vlog on Sunday and we're going to Inglemills and we'll see how much of Inglemills is open because there's not a lot going on in Mablethorpe. So this is the Trustthorpe. So here yeah, you follow all the way along there to Inglemills. There you go, Glen Benches got little shelters open. So let's head back towards the car. Scan that barcode. You'll find out about the beach. It's not a bad idea, that actually, is it? So, guys, can I ask you that if you like the video, please consider subscribing. It helps get the content pushed out to more people. If you click the bell icon as well and give the video a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. Unless you don't like the video, but then what would you be watching it now for? Because we're quite a way into it. I like how. They put a curve on these uh, rooftops. I think these might be private ones up this end. Well, there's your answer then, look. Flat for sale. So the flats then. Look how much they are. Let me see some weather though. I think that's like a little holiday lodge. At least that's what I think it was when I walked around the back of it on the way up here. Yeah. I could be wrong. Beach or office. You get a door out the back end as well, in case you want to sit out that side. Seat box there, don't know what will be in there. You get a kettle look, sink. Like I said when I arrived, <coughs> didn't have no money on me, and the parking doesn't take cards. The guy sits in this box all day. It's just a brick box. I told him I was only going to be an hour or two, and he let me off. So it was like two, half two, three o'clock in the afternoon already. So it would have been a bit of a cheek to pay, charge me four pound anyway, wouldn't it? It's the little winds, innit? Back to the car. This little house here. And it's got a little like, shed thing on the top of it. <laughs> I washed this car yesterday. Bloody seagulls. 
Yeah, so if you like that one, guys, consider subscribing. Like I said, it's free. It helps us out a lot, and it doesn't cost you a thing. So, yeah, consider subscribing. Click the little bell icon for future updates, and uh, give, give the video a thumbs up. Helps with the algorithm, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later, guys.